Hello everyone, welcome to the DPB Podcast. I am your host, Ryan Mondes, with DisneyPinsBug.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. This is episode number 138 for the week of July 30th, 2018. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. Hey everyone, welcome back to the podcast. I just returned from a super quick weekend trip down to Walt Disney World. I actually just got in last night. While I was down there, I was able to get all of the Finding Nemo 15th anniversary pins. So if you guys are listening on the website or on iTunes, uh, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel because I did a separate video on those showing a closer look at those pins and I just love them. They are gorgeous pins. So yeah, we have a lot of pin news to talk about today. So I just want to get right into it. Pin releases from all around the world. It's been a Busy week for DPB this past week. But before we get into that, I want to quickly mention one thing for housekeeping, and that is we have a new member here at Disney Pins Blog. It's my good friend, Corey. You guys might have heard of him before. He has a YouTube channel called Corey Fiasco, and he does a lot of Disney-related things, like unboxings and park vlogs. Uh, So yeah, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, he joined DPB. He's going to be helping out. Um, doing blog posts, and he also is an admin um, and really manages the Disney Pins Blog community, our Facebook group. So I'm very happy to have him on board, and he's a super cool guy. If you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, uh, just type in Corey Fiasco on YouTube and you'll be able to, to find him. All right, so let's get into the pin news. First, we're going to start off with Hallmark. I haven't mentioned them for a while here in the podcast. They recently came out with new itty bitty pin sets. There's one featuring Star Wars. It has four different characters. You have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Chewbacca. That pin set was released in July 2018. has a retail price of $14.99. And then there's another Itty Bitties pin set. This one is for Disney princesses. You have Ariel, Aurora, Cinderella, and Belle. And that has a retail price of $14.99 as well. And you can find that one online. The Star Wars one I didn't see online, but the princess one is online. Uh, And of course, you can also check out if you guys have a local Hallmark store nearby. uh, They might have the pin sets there as well. Okay, next we're going to head over to Hot Topic. They received a new pin this past week. And this one features Stitch holding onto a pineapple. This is a lounge fly pin uh, released at Hot Topic stores with a retail price of $6.90. All right, guys, next we're going to head into Box Lunch. Another crazy week for Box Lunch. They have just been really pumping out the pins recently. I think they just have a goal of making a pin of every single Disney movie or Disney character. Uh, So yeah, we have a lot here. Uh, First we're going to start off with is the new Lion King Cluster. These were all released within the past week, available in-store and online, and they have a retail price between $8 and $10. This character cluster features Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. Next we have a Aladdin pin called A Whole New World. It features Aladdin and Jasmine on the flying carpet with a starry background. Next is the Up House. Yes, the colorful house from Up, and it has the balloons on it as well. Uh, If you guys recall, this was actually an open edition pin at Disney Parks, uh, I'd say about a year or so ago. Um, So this is very similar to the one at Disney Parks, but now they have a box lunch exclusive. Next, there was a new Pocahontas pin. This one received some mixed feedback on it. Some people are saying her face looks a little weird, or it's like a backwards pin, uh, but it has her hair kind of waving in the wind. Retail price is $8.90 on that one. Next is a Mushu Wings pin from Mulan. Uh, This one's $8.90 as well, released in July. And then finally, they have new Disney Princess buttons. These are created by Loungefly in a Box Lunch exclusive. And I actually did a blind bag unboxing of these on the YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. There are 12 different buttons and the retail price is $2.90 per button. And there's one pin per blind bag. Okay, so that is it for Box Lunch. Like I said, lots of pins coming out of Box Lunch. If you guys want to check out all of them within the past couple weeks, you can just head over to Disney Pins Blog and uh, click on the Pin Categories tab and then click on Box Lunch and you'll see them all there. Okay, next we're going to head over to Disneyland Paris. They had their pin trading night this past week, and they had a surprise Lion King pin release. These are those little circular pins. It's a pin trading night, and it has a character in the center. And those are limited edition of 400, released during the pin trading night event on July 27th, 2018. 
And then they have a new refresher pen. Um, so during pin trading nights at Disneyland Paris, if you buy a drink, uh, you would receive a pin. And the new pin features Jack-Jack from The Incredibles. Okay, next we're heading over to Hong Kong Disneyland. They had their third pin release for the Disney Classic series. These two pins feature the 101 Dalmatians and Bambi. Those were both released on July 28th, 2018 in the Emporium at Hong Kong Disneyland and they are a limited edition of 500. And there's just one more set of pins in this series and those will be released on Saturday. Next we're heading over to Alani, a Disney resort and spa. If you guys heard the news, a new friend of Duffy has joined the gang and his name is Olu, I believe is how you say it. He is a turtle and the very first pin has been released of this character. It features him in a raft kind of strolling through. It looks like a lazy river playing his little ukulele there in the water. It looks like he's relaxing. It's a uh, pin on pin design. A very colorful pin. And that was released on July 28th, 2018, along with all of the other merchandise of this new character. Next, Disney Cruise Line had some new pin releases. Keep an eye out on the blog because we're going to have a few others appearing here soon. But I wanted to mention quickly the new mystery pins. They feature Disney dogs playing with a Disney Cruise Line beach ball. These blind bags can be purchased on board, and there are six total pins in this collection. You have the Dalmatians, Lady, Tramp, Dodger, Max, and Pluto. And those are all new mystery pins on Disney Cruise Line. Next, we're going to head over to Pixar Studio Store. We have another rare pin coming from Pixar Studio. Um, this one gained a lot of hype this past week. We have a new pin release for the Disney Pixar short, Bow, in front of... Incredibles 2, very popular short, and these are only available for Pixar cast members or guests of cast members at the actual studios. So the general public can't really purchase this pin, uh, which makes them extremely rare. Um, if you did, if you guys did want to try to find it, maybe like a secondary market like eBay or on a Facebook group, put it up and in search of, and you might have some luck there. But this pin is limited edition of 300. All right, next we're heading over to. Disney Studio Store Hollywood. They had their Disney Princess Cuties pin release on Saturday, July 28th. There were five different princesses released. Ariel, Belle, Cinderella, Snow White, and Aurora. All limited edition of 300. And then there was a surprise pin release featuring Aurora in her blue dress. And that is limited edition of 300 as well with a retail price of $16.95. All right, now it's time for Disney Parks, Disneyland, and Walt Disney World. First, we're going to start off with the new Milan cast member movie anniversary pin. This one features Milan's 20th anniversary, limited edition of 750, and it's the 18th pin in this cast member movie anniversary collection that's available at Disneyland and Walt Disney World for cast members only at Company D and Team Centers. Next, this past week on the blog, we featured the Walk in the Park 2018 pin at Disneyland. This benefits the Children's Hospital of Orange County. Uh, the event actually takes place on August 26th, but there was a media event this past week, and uh, guests who raised over $275 um, were able to go and uh, pick up their lanyard, their pin, and their medallion. And it's a really cool pin. It has a little bear on it. It says... Uh, chalk at the top and walk in the park on the left 2018 at the bottom and then it says presented by Disneyland Resort very colorful bright pin benefiting a great cause that's a family friendly 5k walk through the Disneyland Park Disney California Adventure Park and downtown Disney District and like I said that takes place at the end of August 2018 all right now for the new pin releases this week at Disney Parks at the time I'm recording this, I do not have the uh, pin flyers yet for August, but I should be getting them here on uh, Monday when this podcast goes up, so we will be posting the digital versions very, very soon. Um, but the August flyer was posted. Um, I think a cast member down at uh, Downtown Disney at Disney's Pin Trader was showing people, and of course the photo guy out there, we posted it because someone sent it to us, um, but the Walt Disney World version hasn't been released yet. When I was there this past weekend at uh, Walt Disney World, I actually stopped by Pin Traders and asked them if I could see it, and they said it was in the back and they wouldn't give it to me. Uh, so yeah, we will post the digital versions as soon as we get them here. But we do have the Disneyland releases this week. Uh, we have two new Pixar Fest pins. Uh, first is a three-pin set of Monsters University. 
that is limited edition of 1500 and then there's the annual pass holder Pixar Fest 2018 pin featuring Monsters University as well. That is limited edition of 2000. And then for the shared releases, we have the next Lattes with Character pin. This one features Olaf. You have Olaf in the actual latte, and then the little cookie is in the shape of a snowflake. And that will be released on uh, this Thursday, August 2nd at Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resorts. And then we don't have the exclusives yet for Walt Disney World, but like I said, we will post them and keep that weekly pin post up to date. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the pin news this week. Now let's head into Disney Pin Chat. So for Disney Pin Chat this week, I just want to keep it real quick, just because I just got back from uh, Florida last night. I wanted to quickly talk about some things while I was down at Walt Disney World on some of the questions that we got while I was there. So if you guys follow Disney Pins Blog on Instagram, I do a lot there on the actual feed and of course the story um, so I'm getting tons and tons of questions every day um, and whenever we post something that's kind of new or unique we get bombarded with questions um, so two th things in particular that I posted this past weekend I just wanted to quickly mention here on the podcast so everyone was aware um, the first one I posted the Shanghai Disney Resort pins at Epcot and I thought most everyone knew that they were being sold at Epcot. They've been there for, I would say, close to a year now at Epcot in the China Pavilion. Um, so sometimes they put, they're put they putting some new ones in. They're getting rid of some. Um, it's just a lot of Shanghai pins. And I posted on our story the uh, pin racks there of the Shanghai pins. And I just got bombarded. People were asking where at in Epcot. So I had to just keep reiterating. It's in the China Pavilion, in the gift shop in the back. It's called House of Good Fortune. Basically, just walk to the very back of the gift shop, and there's a register back there. And on the counter um, next to the register, there's two little pin racks of the uh, first anniversary Shanghai Disneyland pins um, and a few others. There's open edition, limited releases, uh, mystery pin sets, and sometimes they'll have like lanyard battles there and lanyards. Um, so they kind of switch it out a little bit. Um, some of those pins are also available at the outlet stores, if you guys were unaware. But yeah, if you're at Epcot and you're looking for those Shanghai pins, just head over to the China Pavilion in the back and uh, you can find them there. The second thing that I posted that gained a lot of attention was a specific pin case I posted at Magic Kingdom. Um, and this was kind of new to me within the past month. I knew the store was here, but this little pin case in the center um, just appeared. All limited edition pins at Magic Kingdom are sold in the Frontierland Trading Post store in Frontierland. That's where you'll find your biggest selection. Uh, but they also added a second location. And it used to be at the very front of Main Street. It was connected to the confectionery store. You walked in the back and there was a pin section back there. They didn't have limited edition, so it was just open editions there. They moved that and now it's over before Tony's Town Square restaurant. So as soon as you walk in the park on the right, uh, back where Mickey is, there's like a little store back there. They have open edition pins there and now they have limited edition pins there. So you have a second location inside Magic Kingdom where limited edition pins are available. And I posted this little video of the pin case. And inside the pin case was the Zootopia Lunchtime Tales pin, which if you guys recall, that was released a couple weeks ago and people thought it sold out, but it was still available in this little store at Magic Kingdom. So of course, whenever I posted that, people were just like DMing me like crazy. Where's this store at? Where's the store at? Uh, so yeah, just wanted to let everyone know here on the podcast. That's where it is. As soon as you walk in Magic Kingdom, just make a quick right go in that store there where Mickey Mouse is and yeah they have a little pin case there they actually had the um, Lion King donut shop pin there all of the Finding Nemo pins were there and I think the um, solo limited edition pins and and Aristocats uh, the puzzle box was there as well so yeah if you're looking for some limited edition pins that maybe are sold out at other places in the park check that store it seems like it doesn't get too much foot traffic there and then the very final update that I want to give at Walt Disney World uh, for summer 2018 is Food and Wine Festival is quickly approaching. I was at Epcot yesterday and almost all of the food and wine kiosks are up around World Showcase and in Future World. So coming very soon here, which leads me into the pin releases. I'm really hoping we'll be able to post those soon for you guys. Um, I haven't seen them yet. I kind of have an idea, but... I haven't seen the flower yet, 
Um, so yeah, keep an eye out, DisneyPinsBlog.com. We'll post it as soon as we can. And that also leads me into Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We should be getting the flyer for that as well. I'm hoping this week, but we will see. So yeah, just some updates from Walt Disney World on my recent trip here. I thought that would be a good topic for Disney Pin Chat, just to give everyone a little update who's traveling down to Orlando. All right, guys, that's going to do it for episode number 138. Leave a comment below if you guys have any questions. And of course, you can join the conversation in the forums or on our Facebook group, the Disney Pins Blog community. Thank you for listening and watching. Hope everyone has a great week. See ya.